Hey guys, I am at KUKA headquarters in Augsburg, Germany today, where they've been really nice to invite me to have a look at their brand new LBR Easy 3 R7600 unit. This is the brand new Cobot that they've been developing for a couple of years now. And today has been my first chance to get my hands on the actual unit. Please excuse the noise. I'm currently in a training facility at KUKA, but I cannot help but take this opportunity to have a play with the brand new Cobot that they've been working on. Like I said, it's an LBR Easy 3, which means it's got a payload capacity of three kilograms and a reach of 760, which I believe includes the Smart Gripper that is a custom for this robot by Schunk. That means that it also has the capabilities to know if someone's touching it, like I just did, that it should stop and react in time. So unlike the Agulus that you see on my channel on, your, on a regular basis, that is my preferred model for research, mainly because I have access to one. This one is obviously able for the motion gesture control, where it's as simple as putting down an enabling switch, which lets the robot know that it's safe to use, and that then you can position it. If you'd be so kind to have a look here, a couple buttons, which are very similar to what you see on the ready to pilot system, where we can select menus, go backwards as well as this is a button that will allow for inline programming directly on the smart pad without actually having to take your hand off the robot, which I think is a pretty great innovation. One of the things I didn't like about the Radio 2 Pilot, and I know this is a bit controversial, always pissed me off how the two buttons are static. Once you make one LIN, once you make the other one PTP, there's no way to cycle through them. Where they seem to have solved that problem by including the little click wheel on this one. And probably even more exciting is the brand new smart pad. This is the smart pad pro that KUKA are working on at the moment. This is a prototype unit, but they've been really nice to let me get my hands on it. The first thing you probably notice is that it's now in landscape mode instead of the old portrait. There's a fair upgrade to the touch screen. And if we can just get a look in the new sort of way of programming, where it's more intuitive and more just list space where you can go down and add and sort of I will do some programming in a bit of a challenge I think Nick has prepared for me later on in this video. And one last thing I sort of would like to show is if we set it up in auto mode, of course if it's a if it's a collaborative robot, of course the big thing is safety and whether it senses that anybody is nearby. So the idea of a robot like this, you don't see many of these on my channel. Occasionally you'll see an easy, but if it senses that someone's in the vicinity or it has contact or a collision, it automatically stops. The indicator light changes color. And then it's as simple as just pressing play again to say I'm safe. And the robot goes back to its procedure. So that's a really quick look and my first hands-on experience with the new LBR Easy. Hopefully, we'll be getting our hands on one of these sometime in the near future, maybe as early as 2022, but I don't know. But I gotta say, I really like what I see so far and I can't wait to get my hands on iKuka.